Maybe you're here because you need to dust off your dreams. Maybe you need to explore your imagination. Maybe you just need to identify your gift so you can get, so you can quit tripping in your own life. I was speaking at a school once and um, I was talking to the students. The principal was mortified with my message because I was telling the truth. I was telling the kids, your education is, poor, is important, but your education is not the most important thing in your life. I'm sorry, it's not. Your dream is the most important thing in this world. It tops your education. The problem with people is, we don't, we, don't, we don't pursue our gift oftentimes. We try to go get an education and make it think that's gonna get us somewhere. It, your dreams dwarf your education. I said, and, and the teacher, he, the principal came up on the stage while I was speaking, don't ever say that to my school again. Well, I'm just telling you, dog. You can save your kids a lot of pain if you ever talk to them about their dreams. You gotta talk to young people about their dreams. See, it's not your education. The Bible don't even mention education. It ain't even in there. Harvard ain't in there, UCLA ain't in there. The Bible says a man without a dream or vision shall perish. But your gift is the thing that you do the absolute best with the least amount of effort. That's your God-given gift, and everybody has one, and God gives it to you at birth. You don't have to go anywhere to discover it. It's not in the water, it's not on the mountaintop, it ain't hid under a rock. Your God-given gift is instilled in you at birth. It'll make a way for you. Your gift will make a way for you. It'll provide your life to have purpose and meaning. That's what it means when it says your gift will make room for you. You should, before you die, you should do what God created you to do. You really should, man. Now, that don't necessarily mean you gotta quit your job. Some people are born to be teachers, caregivers, nurses, babysitters. Those are gifts, you know what I mean? If you're living in your gift, you're cool. It's just if you ain't. If you identify that gift, man, that gift is the thing that, that can make you great. And gifts don't have to be running, jumping, singing, dancing. Teaching is a gift. Nursing is a gift. Networking is a gift. Childcare is a gift. Those are gifts, man. People, you can have a great life at that. If you got a kid that want to be an airplane pilot, you can quit talking to him about education. Talk to him about being a pilot. How great it is, where he'll be able to fly. Put that in his head. Then he'll do math. He'll do engineering. He'll go to science. Because he wants to be a pilot. It's the dream that's the biggest thing. People killing me, man, with this education. I ain't knocking education, but you can make it without education. If you do hair better than everybody else, you should be somewhere doing somebody's hair. Yeah. Those are gifts. Telling jokes was a gift. They just not just running, jumping. If you paint, you should be painting. If babysitting is what you really do, you should be babysitting. You doing anything. If you fix cars, you work with your hands, you're supposed to be working with your hands. You do anything else, when that alarm clock go off in the morning, you ain't gonna like it. I make people laugh. It put me in the presence of great men. That's what my gift has done for me. That's what your gift will do for you. That scripture is talking about you. I always saw myself free. I just want to come to work. This is all I want to do. Before, Bishop Jake said this. He said, before you die, he said, I would hate to die and never do the thing I was born to do. You should look into that before you mess around and check out of here. You would think much of me if you saw me when I flunked out of school. I'm on my third marriage. You would think a whole lot more of me if you knew me when I was living in that car for three years. Cause see what I, what he turned me into was something I never saw that, I didn't think I'd ever be this. People come to me from everywhere. I meet with kings and queens. I was in Botswana with the president and the first lady of Botswana. Then I met the, the, the crown prince of Abu Dhabi. He came out of his chair at the race to come meet me. You know why he came to meet me? Just simply because of my gift. You know, you know, you know how many people got degrees ain't working? Ain't working nowhere. And then you got people that get degrees and then want to go get another. Now if you want to be a doctor, lawyer, dentist, stuff like that, you got to go get education. We're not talking about that. But you keep going to get all these pieces of paper hang on your wall. You got one degree, you ain't making with that. The f you need two of them for. 
So that's just my opinion. That's probably not what most people share, but your dream, man, it's what you dream about. You got to dream about something so big that it dwarfs all your fears. The way you overcome fear is with your dream. You got to make your dream so big that nothing matters except that dream. You're willing to do everything that's necessary. I was listening to Will Smith the other day. Will Smith said the best things in life is on the other side of fear. It's on the other side of fear. But fear freezes people, man. The fear of failure freezes people. Suppose I don't do it. Well, you might, you might not make it. But I got news for you. If you don't do it, you damn sure ain't gonna make it. That's a for sure. So I would, I would at least go and see.